Yo, what it do, y'all? What it do? What it do? What it do? Um, yeah, that's your boy, the host, the Wolf of Crypto, man. Um, you know what's crazy? Q1 here is uh, officially about to be done as of today. Q2 starts tomorrow, and uh, ooh, what, what, what is, what do we look forward to? What are we looking forward to here, folks? Um, I think we're looking forward to a lot of different things just for the fact that rumor has it, ooh, Goldman Sachs is about to uh, offer their, as they quote unquote say, their high net clients some uh, some uh, Bitcoin here. So, of course, you know, it's creating some, some controversy as far as, well, Will this lift the price? Because right now, I mean, mm, Bitcoin's currently at that 59K range. I'm, I'm like, whoa, is it going to end? Are we going to end Q1 with 60K Bitcoin? Or are we going to go into start Q2 with Bitcoin going at 60 and then like taking off again? It's just, ah, interesting times right now guys have been following this nft craze and you know what i gotta say i'm kind of the nft market right now yes it's on fire um i think those that have always just kind of been like a collector of certain things it, that market i i feel like that's why it's not gonna go away some people feel like oh it's gonna it's go pop well if we're talking about art here, I'm talking about creativity. Um, how does a bubble really pop on that? If you're constantly trying to come up with different innovative ways of just to show off your art. Cause I'm not going to lie. There's some NFTs I was browsing last night. And I'm like, yo, I'm, 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 go, I'm probably going to buy me a couple of these. Cause it's like, well, one, there's some scarcity Two, some of this stuff is actually pretty dope. Um, the creativity, especially when it comes to like some of this 3D art, this digital art. Like I seen this, uh, what was it? Like this 3D package little army figure. Like I don't even know what it is. Like I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's a real toy, but it's an NFT. Look pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure that you know, you buy it now. What happens? Two, three years, come back a little bit later. Hey, you know, it might be worth a little something, something never know who might want to buy that who, or who might want to collect it because as a collector you want to show off like even some of my nfts that i kind of like you know eh, really forgot about like what was it i think i have two axes that are like worth uh i think the market value was like a 100 bucks for each of them i'm like wow because i completely forgot how you went and bought those but as far as the market, man, I'm just, uh, let's talk about it because there's a lot of, one, well, there's a lot of coins I want, but I've been looking to see, like, if I could find some of those, uh, those gems, and I think I might have found me a couple, especially those gems, well, I'm talking about gems, I'm talking about gems that are under, like, a dollar and stuff, still under a dollar, but Ethereum, ooh, it's like, when is Ethereum going to really just get to that 2000 mark and just kind of go beyond that? It seems right now it's just been uh, been sideways for what? I would say majority of the month. We had some movement here and there. Cardano's been kind of silent, but, you know, Cardano did have that, uh, that big listing on Coinbase, I believe. That was like about a week ago or so. Um, polka dots actually bumping a little bit, making some noise. Is that about almost back to about 40 bucks? Uniswap is a coin that <clears throat> definitely got to be on the watch out for because of their uh, what is it? I think they have some upgrade coming up to their Uniswap version three, I believe it is. I think it drops May 5th. Uh, so I've been kind of watching that one very closely trying to buy it at a I would say somewhat a solid price point where I'm comfortable somewhere in like that $25 range maybe 
26. I would say anywhere from 25 to 27. I feel like that's solid. Litecoin here. Uh, still under 200. <sighs> A part of me is like, <clears throat> do I buy some again? Because, you know, Litecoin did have a little little, little run. Uh, what was that? I believe it was last month. Now, this other one that's got me kind of curious is this freaking Filecoin, man. This Filecoin has been just been nasty. Oh, my. The run it's had. Jeez. I think it was like over 200% last month or so. Matter of fact, let me uh, let me pull it up real quick. Ooh. Yeah. So, last seven days up 102%. Last 30 up 374%. And, ooh. It is pumping, y'all. It is Pumping, sheesh, it's nasty. Man, part of me wanted to put some money in too when it was at like eighty-one dollars, and then just didn't do it like a dummy. It'd be like that sometimes. Theta token has been getting a lot of, a lot of attention lately, and uh, part of me is like, hmm, is this something we need to be looking at? Data tokens jumped up to like the top 15. And I remember this bad boy was barely top 50. But it's been doing this thing. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm thinking about going ahead and buying some. I mean, obviously, the last seven days is down about 7%. But, geez, the last 30 days, man, over 280%. So it topped out at uh, what 15 here about on the 23rd. Ooh. Curious to see how far it goes. I mean, it'd be great to try to snag him at like ten dollars, but definitely gonna pay attention to that chain link, man. Chain link's been quiet. I think it was I think something big about that with chain link, but it's been definitely been quiet. Again, sideways. It's been stuck at that twenty five, twenty seven dollar range. Just uh it's making me it's irking me right now, low key. But they might buying some more at this price range because you know Link be Link's one of those ones where Link will stay at price for a hot a hot minute. You be like, oh man, what, what's going on? All of a sudden, just booms. It's like, whoa, hello. Stellar actually uh, it's falling off a little bit. Still stuck at forty cents right now. I think it was like at what? Guys, high is was it fifty cents? I mean, let me go ahead and check the. Yeah, they were, uh, yeah, it was at 50 cents, 55 cents back February 13th. And right now, just 40 cents. I'm like, party wants to wait to see if it could drop a little bit more back to that 30 cent range, or possibly to maybe go ahead and put some positions in. But <clears throat> again, <laughs> look at the last nine days. 215%. That's a thank you, please. Uh, as far as Dogecoin here, and it's been dropping. Tron took off a little bit. Yeah. Didn't even notice Tron. That's, uh, but I'm, but I'm holding some Tron, though. Trying to get some more, but sheesh. Last 30 days, up almost, almost 90%. Uh, Buy a lot. I would say a significant amount of Tron around that five six cent range, but mm, last twenty four hours thirty percent. Hello, boom boom. Thank you. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm staking Tron. I'm probably like on I think three platforms. Yeah, I'm staking Tron like on three platforms. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Luna, Luna. I'm mad at myself because I didn't buy no more. A hey, B chain's been having nice runs as well. It's down right now, but it's been having some solid runs. And uh, ooh, coin that slept on CRO, crypto.com. Mm. This coin is slept on. Solid. Look at that. Last 30 days, almost up 50%. But the last seven, so it's down. Down eight percent. Um, I'm staking that one thanks to being a you know MCO card holder. So again, CRO sleeper. 
Cosmos back to that twenty dollar range. EOS has actually been doing pretty well. I was thinking about buying some EOS, but staking Cosmos, so earning the Cosmos. Uh, Avalanche is an interesting project. Neo, you know it's funny, man. Neo right now is at almost fifty bucks. And someone told me just you know just buy some Neo. So I, you know I bought some Neo uh, at the forty buck range around there. Now it's up to f almost fifty. People forget Neo was at a uh, hundred bucks, like almost two hundred bucks. Um, so I'm really waiting to see. Yo, does Neo get climb that hump, get over fifty, stay over fifty for a minute? Or do we just go back down? Because, you know, Neo has been, I would say, around, what, back in, let's see here. We go back to about, what's about February? Yeah, February, it was, it was 20, 20 bucks for February. Yeah, around 20 bucks to that 30 buck run that they had. That was... That was nice to see because Neo was sitting at like 15, 20 bucks for like, man, for a hot second. I must say the whole month of June. It wasn't really, it was really not a lot of price movement during June, but man, it's looking like some of the community's coming back because uh, the lowest it's been was what? 25 bucks but that was man you have to go back to february 8th uh to get that low ever really since then it's been either it's been a 30 and 40 pretty much uh majority of the time so anywhere from about low of 35 uh so again keep my eye on neo might have to snag me some more uh, especially, ooh, especially gets back to that hundred dollars, and you collecting gas. So, uh, man, BitTorrent is a sleeper. Part of me is like, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get on this bad boy, man. Ooh, look at the last ninety days, over seventeen hundred percent, bro. That makes no sense. Last seven fifty, ah. Yeah, definitely gotta start putting some price alerts on BitTorrent. Cause like again, right now it's super cheap, but man, the type of games you can get with this bad boy is nasty. It's real nasty. Yeah, but you gotta make sure you try uh, trade on the right market with where they have nice, nice liquidity. Uh, say I would say the top two exchanges to trade BitTorrent. Looks like it's gonna be hit bit TC and up bit, but up bit's got a whole lot of volume going through that bad boy, about 1.24 billion. Who? Hit BTC only got 1.74 million coming through that bad boy, but my bit torrent is noise, noise. I actually would hollow that because I mean, if you look at the last year, over 2,200%. That's just stupid, stupid returns. Jeez. So, um, Algorand has been in. I'm trying to get some Algorand to stake with. Tezos has been doing this thing. Um, for some reason, this Holo token, I've been kind of seeing it a little bit as of late. It's, it's been on my radar, and I can see why. Um, yo, what the? You look at the last year, this thing is up over 4,800%. That's insane. Last 90 days, almost 2,700%, which is insane. Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Holo token. Symbol is hot. Last 24 hours down 14%. Sheesh, where do you trade this bad boy on? Oh, Binance. Yeah, Binance got the most volume for this bad boy, but mm, might have to take a look into that. Uh, let's see here, Engine Coin. Oh snap, Engine Coin went up, and I might have, 
Hold on, y'all. I got to check my position right now because I think it might have just so. This is what happens when you're a trader. Let's go ahead and check it out. Ooh, hello. It did sell. So it sold. Oh, there it is, folks. So engine coin did sell. Ooh, wow. That was something else right there. Yep. So it actually sold. I sold a little too low, but I'll take it. Oh yeah, I got another one for y'all. I need to pay attention to mana. The central land. Great coin to make some easy profits. Easy profits, folks. And um, I had bought bought in what? Around eighty seven cents. Seen that thing show to a dollar. Sheesh. But as a whole, I mean, ooh, I'm curious about, you know, how long, how long is this run going to really last? Like, I feel like some type of correction has to come. But then again, we keep seeing these big time players get involved into the space. It's kind of like, well, I mean. Army was open. Hey, could we potentially see Bitcoin go back to forty thousand? Yeah, but uh, I don't know. Seems like more and more every time you wake up or as the day goes by, look at institutional firms and all these management funds, and they're thinking about throwing in money into the market. So it's like uh, they keep throwing in these millions, man. It, it ain't gonna drop. Uh, but there's a coin and I believe it's called Pearl and, uh, another one that got put on your, put on the watch, but even though right now it is booming, probably going to wait to see or hope to see that it drops, but man, oh man, talk about the last I mean, last 30 days, up almost 280%. And it's funny when people say, oh, you know, I'm looking for those, you know, 100%, 200%ers. Like, they're out there, man. They're out there, but you just got to. It's a lot of research that goes on behind closed doors for you to be able to try to find these bad boys. Um, But, yeah, I think, like I said, as Q1 ends uh, and Q2 approaches, I mean, I'm curious to see what, what what's going to happen as far as price movement. Um, I know a lot of people are predicting, you know, Bitcoin be at 100K at the end of the year. But also, too, uh, you know, these NFTs, man, I want to really try to see if <clears throat> create my own NFT with. Because, again, that's something that's just not only is going to be fun. But it kind of, you know, changes the game if you're an artist. Makes you kind of think of, you know, how you want to distribute things, especially for your fans. Um, but as far as projects go, y'all, man, there is a lot of projects that I'm still trying to find the time to talk about, share, because... Those of you that might not be really involved in crypto, man, this the space moves very fast, very fast. Seems like you be doing research on a couple projects. Next thing you know, there's like 20 more coming out. And you're like, whoa, I want to learn about this. I want to learn about this, but eh, you can't. But I definitely will say this, man. It's a lot more exciting than that regular market y'all are constantly accustomed to as far as the stock exchange but uh oh i do got an announcement for y'all your boy is uh starting to manage other people's money which is pretty exciting for me because uh any of y'all out there have seen the show billions 
Yeah. Bobby Axelrod. Yeah. Uh, it's my guy. It's my guy. And that is what my next project is. My big project is basically running the hedge fund. It's going to be exciting times. Especially uh, with the amount of money that's just coming into the crypto market. But also, too, man, another space that I'm really heavily involved in as of late. It's been staking, 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 staking. Um, That is something that I think that is potentially going to be very huge. uh, That gets kind of overlooked. Um, But also, too, you got to... find the right platforms to stake with because you know some platforms you're just really in a sense just lending out your money um sometimes some of it might not be insured it's not backed up by anything so there might be a little i wouldn't necessarily describe it as a red flag but something that you just gotta keep in mind if you are decided to use some of these platforms to stake with but for the most part that's the other way of just kind of really generating crypto uh staking is basically essential it's like mining basically you know, if you think about it but i've always heard these stories like oh yeah you know i was staking you know probably was that bitcoin and Ethereum. people were mining this stuff when it was like a hundred dollars like ten dollars like just some crazy prices where they have these insane amounts and now for those of them that actually held on to some of those because some you know, some people sold them, you know. I understand they life happens, yada yada yada. But for those that didn't sell and still have those crazy amounts and you look at the price, it's like, yo. I think that's something that always uh really got on just plays in the back of my mind when it comes to thinking because it's like you never know man especially if you got like a a crazy amount and it's just you're just collecting just every day every year more and more and more and it's like you know it's, it doesn't stop but like i said you gotta be careful where you lend out your money to make sure that where your platform you are staking with, you know where it's going. Because, um, you know, I've heard claims that uh, some people have, like, taken some of their stakes, but I don't know how true some of that is because, like I said, I don't know if they're doing their full research or I don't know if they made a mistake. But as far as the places I go to stake, um, it's – you guys have heard me – talk about it nexo that's the big one uh then we got exodus atomic and we got back to celsius but again and then now we're doing it on block five yeah block five gonna be doing it on gemini like it's a lot of different places where you're gonna be able to like i said earn interest stake just make more money man that's what it's about that is what it is about but that's going to wrap it up as far as this particular episode of the Crypto Millionaire journey goes. Like I said, man, Q2 starts tomorrow. Very excited for a lot of different projects that I'm following. I just found like probably like another 10, 15 like last night. Like I said, man, seems like there's not enough time in the day to really dive into a lot of these projects. This is I'm not gonna lie, like blockchain gaming, I was looking at some different projects for blockchain games, and it's like, man, like, yo, that whole earn to play, and that, that's something that is gonna pick up for a lot of gamers. Um, and then once you're able to synchronize uh, or integrate, you know, with games that or custom scene, especially on like on consoles. I mean, I think PCs are going to be obviously the ones they hit first because, you know, it's just real easy, real simple. But, man, I'm telling you, when blockchain gaming gets involved with consoles, ooh-wee, it's going to get real interesting. 
that's another industry that is going to be very beneficial from blockchain is video games because that industry is has taken off it's going to continue to take off before you know it like i said i've been saying this ready player one will be a reality one of these days one of these days just don't know when but that's gonna wrap it up as far as the crypto millionaire journey appreciate you guys appreciate you guys tuning in listening especially that last uh episode i had dropped i'm guessing y'all really messed with the mining um helium my miner actually just got here still trying to figure out how to even set that thing up been having some troubles it's kind of annoying me but as you guys know i'm available on apple podcast google spotify breaker cast box overcast podcast and radio public like i said appreciate y'all listening we got a lot of projects in the place man got this uh whew. Like I said, this platform called Rarible. I'll probably talk about my next episode. Like I said, NFTs, I'm coming. I'm going to start. I will have a little marketplace, a little, little art gallery of NFTs that I can go ahead and start putting on the market and see what happens. But um, it's your boy, the Wolf of Crypto. I'm out here, y'all. Take it easy. Peace.